Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part seven of my jQuery video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to pass text and XML from the server dynamically using JavaScript and jQuery. I'll also show you how to call PHP scripts on the server and have them pretty much do anything that PHP can do dynamically on your websites. If you look over here on the right side of the screen, here is our finished product. It looks really simple, and I kept it that way just so everything is understandable. Here I'm going to get some text and put it right there from a text file on the server. And you can see there that is. Here I'm going to perform some multiplications using a PHP script. And you can see that it did that multiplication right there. And here I'm going to grab some XML data from the server as well. All of the code that I use here is available in a link in the underbar. And of course it is free. So what we have basically over here is just some HTML. Let me close the finished product. And this is just the HTML with three buttons. That's all it is. Then of course I have a paragraph here. This is where the text is going to go from the text file. And it is inside of a paragraph with an ID name of first. Then I got my buttons that I got right here. Here is where I'm going to put the result of the multiplication inside of this span. And then down here in this div with the ID customers is where I'm going to post my XML data. So what do I got to do here first? It's really simple. Don't let it confuse you. Of course, I've got my jQuery library right here loaded. And here I set it up so that this function is called whenever the document is ready for my jQuery code to execute. So I need to bind these buttons. And this is real simple. You can do very cool things using jQuery that would be much harder if you just use straight JavaScript. So what I got to do, I'm binding this button to a function so that this function is called whenever the button is clicked. And of course, I got to put a comma in there. All right, so I got to do that for the other two buttons. No problem, piece of cake. And put two inside here and three. And I know this is bad names. This is kind of so that you can look over here and say, oh, that's button one and that's button two. Just the sort of things you, we wouldn't do in the real world that you do in video tutorials to hopefully make them more understandable. Then I'm going to call another function called get double from server. And then here I'm going to call get XML from server. And these are all my functions. Okay, so I'm going to create those functions. So I'm going to come down aside here, scroll this up a bit, create the the function get info from server and it's going to pull text information from a file on the server okay got that it's not going to be passed any properties and I'm going to call the Ajax method that's inside of jQuery and makes our life beautiful and easy because it doesn't care what browser we're working with. But I do need to define the type of request that I'm going to make here. And it's options either get or post. And I'm going to use get. And then I also have to define the URL for the text file that I want to pull information from. And that's it. So that's where it's going to get my information from. And then upon success, what function I want to call to handle that. And I also could put in error, which would be the function that is called if an error occurs. And I could also put in data type, but I don't need to do that right now because we use text by default. And I'm going to show you some more on those guys here later on in the tutorial. Okay, and that's it right there. Just pulled some text from there. So I got to create the other function, which is called post to page. Post to page is going to be sent the data from that text file. It's also going to be sent a status message, basically to tell me if it was a success or not. And then inside of the element labeled first, I'm going to place the text that I received right like that and then close that off. And that's basically all I got to do to pull information from a text file. If I file save that, reload it, waiting for message. This text is from the server. And the actual file is right here. This text is from the server. Okay, so that's how you pull text from a text file on the server. So let's get more impressive here. I'm going to show you how to call a function or a program called get double.php. It's a PHP file. And what we're going to do is pass get double information from that is actually entered inside of here and it's going to execute over on the server. So I got to create a function called get double from server. And you could make calls to a database, you can make calls to anything you can do with PHP. If you do it in this way, you can do it dynamically. So I'm going to say in my span, I'm going to call the load function. And it's just going to load the results that are sent back from a program that's called get double. Dot PHP into this span. That's what this guy does. So it's going to pass all this information that is stored in the form, which is the name of my form, hashtag inside of there. Call the serialize array function, which is going to pass all the information that is in the form over to get double.php. And then get double is going to figure out everything from that point on. And really, that is all that I need to do there. I'll show you what the PHP code looks like that is going to be inside of here. And let's just say, keep this simple. I'm going to put it inside of a 
comment area inside of here. So this is the actual PHP code. If you don't know PHP, of course I have a PHP tutorial. You can watch that and learn PHP also. So what this guy does, number to double, and it makes a call to post, and it's going to receive a thing labeled as data from that array. And then echo, post, data, and all of this information is then going to be saved in that span. Everything that I echo out here, double up, it's going to be equal to number two, double times two, right like that, and right like that. So that is the PHP code that is actually going to be sent. See, this is it. Get double PHP, this is how short it is. And all it's doing is multiplying times two, and then echo is going to pass back the result of that. Okay, so that's what that is. And if I file save it, jump over here and then type in 65. You can see 65 times 2 equals 130. So that's exactly what that PHP code did right there. And that's actually what this function right here did. So that's how easy it is to talk to PHP programs back on the server. So now what do I got to do? I got to get myself some XML information. Call this get XML from server. Again, it's not going to be past anything. Scroll this up so you can see it a little bit better. And what are we going to do again? We're going to call ourselves the AJAX function. AJAX, or method if you will. Type. I'm going to use get again. Go ahead to find the URL that I'm going to be calling. It's going to be called customers.xml. Here's data type. I have to define it as XML because by default it thinks it's text. Success. I'm going to call a function called post to page 2. Right like that. And again, I'm not going to define the error. Okay, piece of cake. Now I need to define another function called post to page two, and it's going to be passed the data that's sent from that XML file. And here I'm going to use the find method to search through all the XML data that's sent back to me. So data, which is the data represents the XML text. And I'm going to look for customer. And then for each one of these pieces of data, I'm going to call a function on it. And just so you know what this actually looks like, here is customers.xml. See, customer right here, customers right here, first name, last name, streets, da 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 da. So that's what an XML file looks like, and this is the actual XML file that is located on the server. Okay, so now I'm going to define a variable. It's going to be called ID, and I'm going to call this. And then I'm looking for the ID attribute inside of it, and I'm going to save that as ID here. And to save myself some time, I'm going to copy this and create six of these guys, right like that. And then this one's going to be called first name. Copy that, paste that in. This is going to be called last name, street, city, and zip. So those are the names of the tags that surround all that information in the XML file. And then what I just need to do, yeah, just show you something different. Div class equal to first name, name, div. I know there's easier ways to do this. Dot HTML, call the append to function and then perform that operation on the div called customers. And let's just copy this, paste, 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 paste. And then I'm gonna come in here and type in last, and then last name, and then everything else stays the same. And type in street, type in street, city, city, zip, and zip. So all I'm doing is take creating these variables based off the information that I pulled in from the XML file, saving it there, and then like for example here where I have last name, I'm taking last name and I'm putting it on the web page dynamically, and I'm appending that information into the div called customers, okay? Here's customers down here, this is where I'm appending that information. So that is what's going on there. And then after I'm done with this, I need to close that off, close that off, close that off, and then close off the entire function. Okay, so if I file save that and jump over here and reload the page and click on get XML data, you can see that it did just that. It grabbed all that XML information over from the server and put it here on the screen. So there is how to pass text, XML, and call PHP scripts on the server and pass information dynamically. Now you know how to do AJAX. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, till next time.